Time for Sports Now. Michael has joined me with the very latest from the world of sports. It's all about the Africa Cup qualifiers. Yeah. And who is Ghana playing this we evening? We are playing Madagascar. Okay. What should we expect? Okay, so we should expect some changes in our lineup simply because one key figure, Thomas Passe, is not available. Joseph A. to go injured in training. And also, we have some new faces in strike who are um, definitely to add will be relying on to break Ghana's scoring. Duck. If you've been following the Black Stars very closely, you know that we've had this goal scoring mm. problem for a very long time. So, Antoine Semenyon has come in, and he will be. It's likely he might get a nod up there to start for the Black Stars because he's, he's was being, he, he had been in some good form for Bristol City, playing good football, not just in terms of scoring, but linking up play, creating assists, creating his chances, destabilizing opposition defenders and all of that. So, yeah, we can expect some new phases in the lineup tonight. Mm. And the Madagascar team, I mean, tell us about it. How is their performance? I mean over the period. All right, if you look back at 2019, you will know that although they might not be a big name in football, they carry some threats. They had a very good run in the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations. Mm. They beat Nigeria mm. in the was it quarters or semis, one of them. They beat them 2-0 okay. before quarters before they lost the semis to Tunisia by three goals to nil. And just that should tell you because at that point in time, many people were expecting oh Nigeria, Super Eagles to just run through and beat Nigeria and just go through the whole, and beat Madagascar and just go through the whole thing clearly, but it didn't end up that way with the Madagascans coming out right on top. Mm -hmm. And you should expect that sort of fight from them this evening. And their coach, uh, Bupui, has said it, Nicolas Bupui has said it emphatically that, yes, Ghana might have beaten Nigeria at home, or no, like, by our way goes to yeah. qualify for the World Cup. Mm -hmm. We respect that, but we are not afraid to play. Mm. And we are not going to be afraid to come at you. And that should be, that is what's going to happen. They are going to come at us this evening. But I, I believe with the sort of promise Utuadu has shown us in these last two games, mm -hmm. there's something we can let, really expect. We can, we, we, we can scale through, yeah, let, definitely. There's some hope for Ghanaians, No, right? this is not even about hope. When you say hope, it means, oh, maybe there's, 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 there's a shaky bar. Let's, let's say there's good hope, there's good <laughs> if there's something like that. <laughs> the energy is positive, right? The energy right? is positive, right. Okay, so um, we'll be watching out the, the match comes off at what time? 7 p.m. We'll be in Cape Coast. If you can go to Cape Coast in mm. the like, next 10 hours, <laughs> that'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> 7 p.m. All the best to, the, uh, to Ghana yeah. as they meet uh, Madagascar. And don't forget that the Madagascars, uh, they said they are coming at us. Yeah, that they are coming so to play. So we have to be fully prepared. But, but just, just before we wrap up everything, there's a little bit of question about who is going to be in our midfield this evening, especially with Thomas Pazzi out and yeah. Mubarak Wakasu coming in. And His names are coming up. So the way I've been, I'm seeing things, I just think he's going, he, he might want to go with names he already knows. Obviously, Wakasu he knows earlier, but he might want to stick with those players he, he, he did it with versus Nigeria, so definitely you might see Baba Idrisu. Mm. And since we are playing Madagascar, he might want more energy and more uh, ingenuity up, up front. So I'm mm. thinking he might go with uh, Kofi Chire and Mohamed Kudus, mm. who will play on the other side of uh, Idris, mm. Idris in midfield. Okay. This will give you no know, balance in the team and also some sort of energy and uh, creativity going forward. If Antoine Semenyo starts, he might be play with Andrea Ayo, Andrea Ayo has come back into the team and that's where your headache is going to be because you have your captain coming back. Mm. Are you going to bench guys who did it for you in the qualifiers mm. in Nigeria? Then that's and, going to be a tough yeah, one tough, for but him. Judging in the second leg, I think Adu is a guy who likes making the tough decisions because when we played Nigeria at Abuja, mm. at the start of the second half, he took, he took Jordan Ayo off. Yeah. And that is a really big call to make, taking over one of your key players yeah. and bringing in younger guys. So I'm sure he can make big decisions and do good this evening. Normally, it's the tough decisions that get us exactly. the goals. So yes, it <laughs> should be tough on this one. Thank you for bringing us Thank updates you. in sports. That will be 8 for uh, News Desk this morning. My name is Aisha Ibrahim. Log on to myjohnline.com. There's more news there and updates of all the developing stories. See you again at 12.